Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Now, I've been working here for about half an hour, maybe a little more, trying to do a little bit more of this detailing with the 77. Oh, and by the way, I, I put a little bit, about uh, about a milliliter of uh, paint retarder into this. Maybe I should have only put a few drops. Anyway, I've got it diluted down about, I guess you might say, uh, well, this thing was pretty much full, so I, I would imagine it was probably 10 to 1, something like that. Uh, and the reason I did that is because yesterday when I was painting, I was finding that my brush was drying out just way too quick. So uh, it, it doesn't seem to have changed the texture of the paint after it does start to dry. Now, mind you, it, I, it does really make a difference, that paint retarder. I think it works better uh, for spraying, though, than for brushing, but uh, I thought I'd give it a try here, see what happens. I'm going to continue on. I'm not going to video any more painting. Uh, we'll just take a look at this piece when it's done. It's, I'm guessing it's going to take me an hour, and uh, I'm not going to paint the entire center of this part here, and, and of course I won't paint here, uh, but the rest of it I will paint. And uh, Oh, uh, I used this pipette for the uh, paint retarder. And uh, I was thinking, uh, you know, I, I think I mentioned something about you lose a little bit of paint with these pipettes. And I was thinking, I wonder how a person could figure out how much paint they actually they actually uh, used. And then I realized I, I could figure it out to within a, a pretty accurate. And so we'll, we'll do that afterwards. Now, because I'm a little bit concerned about these three milliliter pipettes because there's an awful lot of inside surface area versus the volume, if you know what I mean. And, and I think probably, well, I don't know, we'll test it out and then we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll select a, a, a paint that I've got lots of that I don't think I'll ever use, probably from one of those over there. Um, anyway, I'm just going to continue on here and uh, we'll see you back when, probably, when this is done. So uh, thanks for joining me again today. Okay, I've got a brand new pipette here. It's not the one that I used to uh, sample the uh, paint retarder with, so there's absolutely nothing stuck on the inside of it that's going to throw our measurement off. Now, how would, I, how would I measure the paint that stays on the inside there? And, <laughs> you know, yesterday I was even thinking, well, I could rig up a centrifuge and, you know, the, most of the liquid would come down, but then I knew, well, there'd be residue in there that you, you'd never get, even with a centrifuge. And I thought, oh, why not weigh it? Okay, now I don't know if it's actually as accurate as they say it is, but this thing here weighs to within a thousandth of a gram. Now, <laughs> now I think what it will, you couldn't weigh a little piece of something that only weighed one one thousandth of a gram, because I think you have to start out at something like 10 one thousandths of a gram and then it will weigh the make the difference weigh the difference between something that is say 10 one thousandths and 11 one thousandths <laughs> okay now let's uh, let's not be too technical here but the idea will be that i think that this should should lay on here so we should we should be able to weigh it when it's when it's empty like that and then weigh it again after we've sampled some paint. And I'm going to use this red here. Now this is not the XF red. This is the uh, just the ordinary, ordinary gloss red, I guess. And it is not thinned. So thinned paint will not. We won't lose as much thinned paint as we will regular unthinned paint. But let's just test to see what is the worst it can possibly be. Um, <laughs> maybe I should do an experiment sometime and, and see what's the difference between thinned and unthinned. Okay, let's let's just uh, recompose here so that the camera can clearly see the readout and uh, yeah. Okay, we are at zero. Now, we'll just let the camera do the recording. Okay, when it's empty, it's 954 thousandths of a gram. Almost one, one gram when it's empty.
Okay, that's that's pretty much the, the most you're ever going to want to put in there. Let's try and get as much out of it as we can now. And we want to... I don't want this to time out and, and go back to... and turn off on me. We have to start again. Okay. Okay, I, I think I think we're safe to say we got most of it out. Okay, now we're at uh, twelve hundred and twenty-six thousandths. See, so you can we should be able to calculate out the difference. I'll, I'll do that on the uh, computer later, and I'll just show it on the screen. How and it, we can I think we're probably pretty safe to conclude that that one one gram. Of, of uh, paint is uh, the same as one milliliter. Now I know there's going to be a little difference. It might be slightly lighter. Well, on the other hand, maybe slightly heavier, I don't know. But it, it's going to be pretty much the same. Okay, a fair amount of time has passed while I just edited out those last two clips. And uh, when I came back, I, I had thrown this pipette into the garbage, you know, with it pointed down like this. And quite a bit more had had run out of it. Now, so in, in all fairness to the pipette, you might say, it, it, we probably could have got a little bit more out had we waited. The only thing is, a person's not going to wait. You were going to, let's say you're going to take this to fill up your airbrush, or you're going to use it to, to add, uh, you know, uh, now mind you, thinner. <laughs> you know, maybe that's, that's the, uh, the test I should do. How much thinner stays on the inside? Probably very little. Um, <clears throat> But uh, in a way, that's that's almost disturbing because you know, uh, <clears throat> what, what was it, two hundred and seventy thousandths of a milliliter? Uh, you know, that's almost a third of a milliliter stayed inside, and I only filled it up to to the three mark here, and um, that means that uh, out of every say ten ten milliliters, you lose one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's quite a loss. So I, I did know that, 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 that it stuck, we lost quite a bit. In fact, I think I remember talking about this way back in the Bismarck, when we were doing the Bismarck. And, uh, okay, I think I beat this to death, haven't I? I, sort of, I think I proved my point. Uh, you lose on the inside of your pipette. Uh, maybe not this bad, not this bad, because uh, as I've said at least three times, uh, thinned out paint is not going to have near, uh, you're not going to lose near as much. Thinking about this right now while I'm editing, I was uh, sort of wondering if a person wouldn't be, in fact, I know you would actually be, better off just, say, half filling your pipette. And instead of taking one, one full, take two halves. You know, that sort of idea. And that way you're only going to lose, well, half as much. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. It seems to me, now that I think about it, that I actually mentioned something to that effect about three years ago when I first mentioned this sort of problem. Uh, okay, let, let me just uh, put my second coat on this now. Although maybe I should wait a while. It's, it's only just dried here. So, uh, and the uh, I used the I used the thin version of the deck tan on on these little parts. So uh, before I put the clear coat on there and then the pan line accent color and try and try and make it match. So that when we stick this on, I think, I think this one actually goes right here. Yeah, it, it actually goes right there. So we want to try and make it match a little bit. Okay, um, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of feeling like quitting for this afternoon. What do we got here? Two minutes after one? I'm just not getting anywhere here today, am I? Okay, you know what? Thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow or in the next episode.